Veliki Tarnovo. It's a city that used to be nicknamed the city of the Tsars. It is actually the capital of one of the largest European, certainly Bulgarian empires, the second empire from the 12th century to the 14th century. This is not any city. And to demonstrate and show you that, I'm gonna take you to the place where the Tsars of the second Bulgarian empire used to rule from. It's called Tsarevits fortress as its name indicates the fortress of the Tsars if you are excited follow me in this beautiful Bulgarian adventure <laughs> oh I start to see some civilization some cars and where is this it looks like the entrance to some secret place there is even an electric plug here and it takes somewhere under this hill. Probably that's where the Tsars of the Second Bulgarian Empire used to hide their gold. I'll come back later. First need to go check out the palace where they were used to live. Some hidden cabins here. Another secret passage. There is even a fan, of course not working. And here is our first beautiful communist monument. Here is written Bulgarsko Opilsheni or something like that. Opilsheni. Something like that. Something about Bulgaria. 1977-1978. Probably that's when they constructed this one. 1877. So this is to commemorate the victory over the Turks and the independence of Bulgaria after can you believe it more than 500 years of Ottoman ruling over this land or li little bit less than 500 years from 1396 to 1878 so that's a little bit less than 500 years where this beautiful land of Bulgaria was Ottoman where the Muslims the the Christians and the Jews were living together and you see that diversity, that beautiful diversity in almost everything in the monuments they have here in fact the fortress we'll go to see is of course Orthodox Christian from the Second Empire you see the diversity in the food, the architecture now I'm in a normal neighborhood there is actually this beautiful house but unfortunately it didn't get the chance to be renovated and let me show you where we are going. I can see the beautiful medieval fortress of the Second Bulgarian Empire. Let me show you. Here is the fortress and we are taking a pathway from there where you see the Bulgarian flag. And there is a lot of dogs here. God, look at this dog. I've never seen a dog with this face. Looks like they did some genetic experiments here all right let's continue like they used to say don't judge a book from the cover see despite this mess this messy cables here most of them of course are for internet these are not like power cables you should know that Bulgaria has one of the fastest uh, internet speed in the entire planet like totally unexpected like this unexpected view that you see here with a beautiful Orthodox Church there and Another church there, beautiful Bulgarian flag and of course the palace where the Second Empire used to rule from and an amazing nature. This is what I was telling you guys, this beautiful nature of Veliki, Veliko, Ternovo. I'm gonna end up pronouncing it well one day <laughs> without having to think of it. And yes, this is Bulgaria, this is this, is this beautiful region stone houses here on the hill of this mountain overlooking the Yantra the Yantra River that today unfortunately it's kind of dying out especially during summer the level of its water it's almost gone for obvious reasons the increase in temperature and yeah climate change global warming whether you believe in it or not, the facts are here. The river 
water levels are decreasing. I can show you the Yantra River from here. You see, still see some water by some miracle, but that's not how it used to be, at least according to the locals. Look at this beautiful abandoned house here. I should stop saying abandoned house because sometimes you see they have satellite to catch up some some TV stations it's interesting to see like you look at the facades of a neighborhood they kind of the building talks to you tell you their history look at this one it's so abandoned that this tree grew all over the facade it's almost entered inside the windows like the tree has claimed this house it's not like anyone house anymore and then just near this there is life people living here this house look quite in a decent state hello hi how are you Hi. it's too hot yeah. that's why you are naked <laughs> yes camera for my YouTube YouTube yes huh it's called oops I moved again I'm from Poland I don't know you are where from Poland yeah I'm from Poland I have family oh, there I lived in Poland for six months yes yeah I where? did Cra no Krakow Warsaw Wuch no. Bidgosh Bidgosh it's a small town I know you're smiling <laughs> Poznan and uh, Wrocław oh I'm from Warsaw oh Warsaw what are you doing here uh, I have family there oh you have family here in yeah. Bulgaria Nice, I nice. See family, uh, wow, sorry. That's long time. Yeah, long time. Have you seen the Bulgarian Riviera like uh, Varna, Burgas? What? The, have you been to the beach? Yeah, we come to the beach on the Varna. In, in Poland, we have Baltic. That's true. What do you have in Poland? Gdansk? What? Gdansk? Gdansk, yeah. So, so, Sopot? Sopot. Sopot. Yeah. I was in Gdansk, it's nice city. Yeah. Ah, I see. So, so you prefer Gdansk to Varna? Yeah, it's something uh, you know. Okay. I have been to Gdansk in winter, so I don't know how it is in summer. Uh, I have to go to Gdansk in summer. <laughs> Maybe after uh, Bulgaria. <laughs> yeah. And what are you doing there? I'm exploring Bulgaria and oh. then going to Romania by car. Okay. And now I'm going to the Tsarevitz fortress, you see? That there is a fortress there. Yeah and yeah i want to go visit there it's beautiful yeah and during the night they have some light show the youtube channel so it's called oops o o p s yes o o p s i moved again all right this polish man he's insisting on having my youtube channel and he's coming downstairs where is the door? I guess it's this one. Look at it, you can barely stand on the like the, the pedestrian uh, pathway here. But that makes the charm of this uh, this medieval town. That's me. That's you? That's me. Okay. That's my channel. And if you go to about section, no the last one. The last section, yes, the last one. You have my Instagram. Okay. But that's easier. If you wanna contact okay. me. You won't see the... What? The house? Wow! This looks cool. It's very cold here actually. Yeah. It maintains a good temperature, you see? That's cool. So where do you live? Here? Yeah, my uh, grandpa. Oh, your grandmother. Grand your grandmother is here. Yeah. So how many years this house has like? I don't know. <laughs> it, it looks quite old, right? In this in the neighborhood. I'm first time uh, there. First time here. <laughs> so your grandma is Bulgarian or she's Polish? Uh, she's Polish. She's Polish. But uh, he lived there 14 years. 14 years. So she moved from Poland to Bulgaria. Yeah. Wow. Why did she do that? Like uh, for work? I don't know. She prefer <laughs> really, life here. Really. I don't know, maybe she prefer what? 
No, I'm talking to the camera. I said, um, you see, B Bulgaria is a country that attracts uh, a lot of people. Yeah. This is a beautiful house. Yeah. It's crazy. And, then, and that's why you want you see this. To see, you know, it's beautiful. It's crazy, the difference of temperature between outside and here. Yeah. So it tells you that this construction is good construction, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Well, it, it was nice uh, chatting to you. I'll go downstairs. A friendly Polish man. I, I practiced my Polish with him. Three or four words that I remember from uh, living in uh, Poland for more than six months, actually. In my beloved Polish country. It was a beautiful experience there. And I'll go whenever I wish to Poland because it's a lovely, beautiful country. But today it's about beautiful empire of Bulgaria and the Asen dynasty and the legacy they left on this land. This chosen city that was their capital and this beautiful country of Bulgaria that will remember them as one of the greatest rulers over the country of Bulgaria that actually has celebrated a few years ago it's uh, 1,300 year, years so it's uh, 13, 13th century and that's, that's cool to see it in a monument where I have been before and you see like how how cool you know the people they let you in their house oh let me show you inside my home etc i don't know this this warm generosity it's something that is so unique to the balkan countries especially south of the balkans it's just it's just incredibly warm and welcoming here in bulgaria is scorching hot and this if you are wondering what these scaffoldings are doing here they're trying to preserve that beautiful historic mosaic on the wall I cannot unfortunately tell you from which year it is it's not really written on it but yeah these mosaics they they are meant to tell you a story a story of a wealthy family or a dynasty or sometimes simply the people you know the where they were used to live to work like this one here on the wall where you could see there's some Christian man probably has some religious significance but it's not only the priests you see some people are doing some work there the other guy in the middle is probably writing something but yeah this is the history of this beautiful city Veliko Tarnovo almost every corner of the street got some history but they did not forget to evolve with their time you have a lot of trendy shops look at how authentic this one probably working some leather it's a key holder probably or is it like an earring for ladies look at this beautiful leather belt some ladies purses and yes, one of the fastest internet in the entire planet is here in Bulgaria. So don't judge a book from its cover, even if you see internet cable hanging all over the facades. That's okay, it's part of the show. <laughs> Look at this facade here. It looks some some Turkish Ottoman house. Hello. Wow, this balcony is very minimalistic, really. Simply wooden uh, platform, some metallic supports, and that's it. The job is done. You can enjoy your view as long as the balcony is holding your weight. <laughs> you see the names of the founders of the Asen dynasty and the second Bulgarian empire, like is the Tsar Asen. And here we have some historic stuff about the city it's actually written in english telling you the story of this square which we just passed by the old houses from the 18th century look at 1769 they are quite well preserved actually i saw a few of them they knew how to build houses at the time with good insulations 
And here it is, Mr. Nikola Piccolo, a famous Bulgarian from this city actually. The crazy part about him is he traveled to, he studied first in a Greek college in Bucharest, Romania. He graduated with a PhD, he even went to uh, Paris, Italy. He was recognized by the international scientific community in the 18th, 19th century. And he was born here to a merchant family. So as you can imagine, he deserves his bronze uh, statue here in his hometown, the pride of the Bulgarian people. And I have to tell you that I have something cool for you, which is that medieval house from the 18th century. And it is still standing, looking at you strong and tall. Now the question is, should we take right or left? <laughs> My guts tell me we need to continue left. Worst case, we'll just have to walk back another mile. This is the time to get lost, guys, and explore new things. Here is a brand new construction, probably a hotel or some business center. Yes, this is where we are going, friends. This, this beautiful fortress of the Tsars, from which the Assen family, or let me call them the Assen dynasty, ruled over the Second Bulgarian Empire for more than two centuries, actually. From the 12th century to the 14th century, right before the Ottomans came here. Here is a beautiful Orthodox church. Look at the history, guys. Is this Orthodox Church on which I didn't find a lot of information actually so can't tell you a little bit of background about it but if you know please educate us and use all the comment section you need it's another place here some stairs oh you can get a nice view actually from here this Graffiti from sunshine. All right, sunshine. Wow. See the Yantra River, how low it is. You could see like the the bottom of the river from here. The water slowly, barely flowing. The locals say is normally you couldn't even see those those rocks that's how it is today gotta do something about the climate change guys oh some souvenir some Bulgarian souvenir from Veliko Tarnovo recognize the main landmarks of the city the fortress where we are trying to go which you see actually here again it's the pride of the locals their medieval fortress how fortunate the citizens of Veliko Tarnovo are to have such a rich history and let me guess is this also another abandoned beautiful building the answer is yes a lot of broken windows it breaks my heart to see this the Bulgarian food actually has a lot of meat a lot of sausage I don't eat meat but I can still enjoy outstanding culinary experiences here here are your Bulgarian monuments you see broken windows there and this beautiful square here is Tsar Asen I square in fact his full name is not Asen which is confusing because there is another Tsar Asen II his full name is Tsar Ivan Asen I so who co-founded the second Bulgarian Empire with his brother uh, with elder brother Peter this is a square named after him this building that you see here is the regional 
audit council building uh, it is totally abandoned you see the uh, the broken windows here here and it could be like how many marvels can you create with a building like this hotel cafe restaurant a government institution fortunately it's abandoned here in front of this epic location which is the home of the palace or the fortress from which the Asen dynasty used to rule over the empire of Bulgaria the second empire this is something that you know you see less in uh, Western Europe that's kind of a little bit more common here like beautiful epic constructions like this think of the potential if this become let's say a hotel the, getting a view on a historic place like this but it is abandoned square Tsar even Asen first the co-founder of the Asen dynasty the second Bulgarian Empire ta, ta, ta. I am so excited because look look what I see in front of me the gates to take you into the beautiful Tsar fortress but before that we'll make the pleasure last a little bit longer I'm not going there right now I am taking pictures from this epic location especially on this bridge I'm gonna copy that photographer's couple they look passionate about their photography let's do it all right I got my ticket actually her machine doesn't work so <laughs> she wrote it here <laughs> 1877 this is a famous day in the modern famous year in the modern uh, Bulgarian state because this is when the Bulgarian fought against the Ottomans they won they got independent and now we are going to an earlier era of the history of Bulgaria the Asan dynasty the 12th to 14th century exactly 1885 to 1396 that's more than 200 years when this I would say unexpected dynasty you know the two rebellions Peter and Ivan as they named it Asen the first Tsar Asen the first they rebelled against the Byzantine Empire and they founded this beautiful second Bulgarian Empire which actually they ruled from this exact place where we are going now we are talking about like 800 years ago 800 years in fact in 19 85 the Bulgarian state was communist at the time celebrated the 80 800 years since uh, Peter and his brother Ivan rebelled against the Byzantine Empire and founded this beautiful powerful Empire here in the Balkan countries and the choice wasn't a random choice look how green this place is with the Yantra the Yantra River going here fortunately the level of the water keeps saying it has been decreasing but that's that's not a news for you now to know that the European River you know the water level has been decreasing what is this collector coin oh if you want to get a coin from the second Bulgarian state Veliko Tarnovo do they accept credit cards? I may have some change. And since you asked for it, I brought with me the big ears. This is my professional camera, and I'm gonna take beautiful pictures for you. Since you asked it, you'll see them on my Instagram account, which will appear right here. And I'm gonna try to immortalize these beautiful memories from this legendary Bulgarian place. We enter the first gate and this as you can imagine at the time they could lift it up this is the first gate and just picture this in your mind you know like 800 years ago the, the warriors coming here on their horses there was no cars at the time and entering this strong gate here and look at the doors they don't joke with their doors and then you enter you walk this long way here now it's summer it's scorching hot 
and you probably at the time you were greeted with guards all over all over the fortress with their arrows with their swords ready to protect their empire if you were an important person you would probably also hear some music some you know kind of symbolic music of the empire at the time the Asan dynasty and you'll even be greeted by the emblem of your own kingdom or your own country to make you feel welcome or you'll be greeted with arrows and swords <laughs> depends which side of the history you are here is the vista point a medieval vista point of the Asan dynasty I'm not sure if they had Instagram at the time but this spot is very Instagrammable and just I keep saying it just so you could appreciate the nature look how thick the forest the trees are like they respected their nature they didn't kind of erase all the trees and replace them with residential buildings they kind of build along the hill respectfully to nature but it's still the green color is dominating the hills you can't you can't miss this when you arrive to Veliko Tarnovo it's it's epic nature is fresh I feel I'm despite it's hot I'm breathing a fresh air let's continue because the Emperor uh, Asen the Tsar Asen first is waiting for me I'm visiting him from from the kingdom of YouTube <laughs> <laughs> what is the name of my youtube channel let's see <laughs> they didn't reach me with the name of my youtube channel that's not a good sign guys do you guys have any special message to the emperor <laughs> i can tell him we entered the second gate you see the arch was this traditional byzantine style i would say yes how strong how massive the wall is the cherry on the cake is that in the evening they have something cool and that is a kind of light show uh, where they trace the history of the city how it fell you know into the hands of the ottomans things like that and this is a medieval picture of the city of veliko tarnovo you could see this is where we are entering actually we're entering by this side the Yantra River you see it's here and we are going to this one that you recognized this tower number 12 which is the Patriarch Ensemble number 11 this big place here is actually the palace of the Bulgarian kings I guess that's where the king would used to hang around number 9 is a church yes has the dome the Orthodox dome and that's what we are going to explore and as I said during the evening they had they have actually a light show like apparently epic almost symbolic of the city now let me show you how you may have been greeted at the time if you would come to this empire on the wrong side of the history you want to see it here it is <coughs> Look at the deadly arrow. I guess you need to bring this down. Oh, it's not working. Wow, you have to bend this strong wooden support. Wow, this is something. These are the chunks of the time. And let's go to where the Bulgarian Tsar was used to live in this big luxurious complex here. The fortress of the Tsars. Thinking back to when we were young, we turned to pieces of what we thought we could be when we got older. Chasing climb, climb, and climb because we are not done yet with the medieval stairs because you know the Tsar didn't want to live down near the people he wanted somewhere beautiful to enjoy high views over his capital and over his empire or going to the church actually the Bulgarian patriarchs 
from the beginning of the Asan dynasty, the second Bulgarian empire, till its dissolution after they lost to the Ottoman Empire. See, here it is well preserved. 800 years old, guys. We are going to the entrance, which is on the other side. Wow. From the highest point of the Tsar fortress. Eight hundred years, more than eight hundred years, actually. Wow, the Tsar, how they call the church. And you asked for epic views for your music concert. Here it is. See the seats there. And now we'll go to Baldwin Tower. Why they name it Baldwin? Because that's where Emperor Baldwin the first has died. Yes, the Frenchman died here. Yes, you heard it right. Emperor Baldwin the first himself was captured, imprisoned here, in this place, in a tower that kind of hold his, his name, like the Tower of Baldwin. Now, who is this Baldwin I? Baldwin I was French, born in north of France, Valenciennes, and he was the first emperor of the Latin uh, Empire here in Constantinople, actually near, in Turkey. In fact, he was one of the most prominent uh, Emperor of, uh, of the Latin Empire, actually he's from the Crusaders, from the uh, Fourth uh, Crusades actually, and in 1204 he was even crowned in the Hagia Sophia of Constantinople, modern day Istanbul, Turkey, so that's the heart of the Latin Empire of Constantinople, but unfortunately for him, only one year later, he lost the Battle of Adrianople. In today it's called Edrin. Edrin is a city, a Turkish city, right below the Bulgarian border. That's where Emperor Baldwin I was ruling and he was defeated by who? By the Asan dynasty from this city, Veliko Tarnovo, from the Empire of Bulgaria. They, uh, they, they had an alliance with the Venetians, they attacked him, he lost, they brought him and had him imprisoned right here in the tower where we are going called the Baldwin First Tower. The anecdote, or I would say, <clears throat> sorry, the legend says, in case you are wondering why and how he, he died. So he was imprisoned, but the legend is that he tried to flirt with the wife of the Tsar himself. So the Tsar, the Bulgarian Tsar, he requested to kill him. And he even made his skull, he made it like a drinking cup that's the legend was it true or not long story short the news of his death propagated quickly throughout uh, Europe and then they crowned another relative to him who ruled over the Latin Empire but he was definitely one of the most prominent Emperor of the Latin Empire and this dynasty the Bulgarian dynasty is the dynasty that defeated him and even imprisoned him is just to show you the influence and the prominence and the power of the Bulgarian Empire on which to be honest we know little at least in the Western schools but that's why we travel France is to explore the world and learn about histories and cultures 
and empires that lived in this beautiful planet and that were not advertised enough at least not in the western uh, media and the western schools look at this epic city and imagine yourself you are in the medieval era with this fortification standing firm more than 800 years protecting the ruling of the Asan dynasty for more than 200 years from the time they defeated the Byzantine the brothers Peter and Asan their statue is in the heart of the city Veliko Tarnovo until actually the collapse of the Asan dynasty himself against the mighty Ottoman Empire in the late 1300 that's the late 14th century I guess some missionaries from the United States international actually in Bulgaria it is international I hear a lot of I wouldn't say a lot of but I hear you know American British Australian English especially if you go to Plovdiv if you, how do you call it what's the medieval name of Plovdiv Philippopolis Philippopolis they named it after Philip the second king of Macedonia father of who Alexander the Great the man who ruled almost over any land on which he walked his history was of course tied to Bulgaria because Macedonia or what's today North Macedonia north of Greece is just here near Bulgari Bulgari did I say Bulgari <laughs> Bulgaria <laughs> that's that's the effect of heat on my head <laughs> it's scorching hot. more than 110 Fahrenheit more than 42 degrees look just look at look at the floor Look at the land. See? Do you hear the honks of the cars? They come from there, where there is that minaret, you see? Like a mosque. Well, in case you're wondering what's going on, you remember the girl I uh, vlogged with yesterday? Or she didn't want to vlog with me <laughs> on another day, Nova, the the Bulgarian Dutch girl. Her brother is getting married today actually. Around she told me around 5 pm, so now it's like 4 pm. So I guess they will go to the mosque because the 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 Muslim you know uh, uh, weddings usually they last for uh, two, three, four days sometimes. So they are going to the mosque and they can hear the honks from here, and that's a mosque. And I'll guess We'll hear more music once we go to the Baldwin Tower where Empereur Baudouin, that's how they call him in the French language, Baudouin, like Baldwin, where he was kidnapped and not kidnapped but he was captured when he lost the war of Adrianople in Turkey, Edrin, the name of the city today, and he died there. I hear I hear some music. I swear, it reminds me of Turkey. So, if you are excited, let's go to see the tower where Emperor Baldwin I was imprisoned, where he died, and get kind of anyway feeling of the medieval time when he was living here. And why the heck on earth, instead of negotiating for his release, <laughs> he tried to flirt with the, the Tsar wife. <laughs> the Tsar got him killed. The Baldwin Battle Tower. The guards fiercely protecting it. So that's Mr. Baldwin that not escape. There's a breathtaking view of the Lake Eternum from the tower of the Patriarchal Church of the Ascension. You're able to reach the top by elevators situated at the back of the church. Wow. Wow. Impossible to escape. Another level of the tower. Imagine Imbro Baldwin imprisoned here. Uh, 
and probably the guards will be standing here. Wow, looks like a little airport. I see some planes. Maybe it's like a miniature of the city. This is cool. Unexpected, but cool. Like a lot of things here in Bulgaria. Now that you have seen where Emperor Baldwin I was imprisoned and certainly enjoying, you know, despite being imprisoned, these views here, looking at the Yantra River at the time, you know, the 13th century. How about we go to the swimming pool? Because in my hotel, there is actually a beautiful swimming pool. I need to go check in and I'll show you around. I got actually right on time. What the camera is doing? Because now they are getting the people out of the pool because they are putting some chemicals actually. So it wasn't too late. I got my dip. I swam. And now I'll go get a shower and a dinner. I think I'll have dinner here in the hotel. They have some seatings here. They also have a view actually i think on the other side but i'm not sure or maybe there is this is the only one but anyway this view is not bad looking at the pool so the kids are having like their their highlights their life's highlights look at them so happy they don't want to leave the pool she has to <laughs> chase them one by one i don't think he want to swim now <laughs> look what she just put something very white and she is actually gonna add some other stuff. <laughs> so unless you wanna, you know, become like Mr. Bald and bankrupt, <laughs> you can get the bald right here, the bankrupt. <laughs> I don't know what you need to do, but yeah. <laughs> Good evening, friends. From this beautiful resort here in Veliko Tarnovo. And how about we go get a dinner right there? You know, at the foothill of the mountains we had a beautiful sunset with the sky how blue sky clear and blue it is i think i'm gonna be coming back <laughs> quite often here because yeah this place is cool it's really cool it's not far from bucharest it's dinner time and who says dinner time in bulgaria says great food let's see what i got now uh, <laughs> i forgot what i ordered actually i know that this one is here is the name actually, let me tell you. The homemade Tara Mosalata. This is what you see here. It's served with homemade bruschetta. And the other one that you see is actually the breaded cheese. This one with blueberry jam and the little, see the presentation, how nice it is. And the view is even nicer I like you very much my friends but uh, see you in a bit <coughs> yes it's getting it's going good and I just brought my third meal which is also an appetizer but uh, quite generous it's like king prawns and the view is still great 